Hi, and welcome to my next video. If you uh, haven't been here before, uh, welcome. Um, and if you're a previous viewer, um, thanks for coming back and uh, checking out my next video. For this one, I thought I'd uh, do a black and white uh, pen and ink sketch. Um, I was uh, feeling more uh, black and white than uh, watercolor today. Uh, so I thought I'd give this one a try see what you think. I chose this picture um, because of the uh, the contrasting um, lights and darks and uh, I thought it was a nice composition that the photographer had uh, uh, kindly organized for my use. And if you haven't uh, watched this uh, channel before, uh, I usually um, use uh, pictures that I, uh, free pictures online uh, from Pixabay or, or uh, things like that and and I also use my own photographs from uh, holidays and whatever traveling around. I do a variety of um, subjects and uh, usually stick with the uh, the pen and ink and uh, also adding watercolor when the mood strikes me so i hope you in uh, i hope you enjoy or, and you have been enjoying the uh, the videos i've been making if you do uh, if you do enjoy it please subscribe and then or or and send me comments for sure um, if you subscribe or not because i really enjoy hearing from everybody uh, people's opinions um, ideas, suggestions, questions, and uh, or, or just anything you want to talk about really. Um, I kind of enjoy uh, looking at the comments and answering them. And most of the time um, I will be sketching directly with uh, a pen as if I was uh, sketching outdoors on site kind of gives me a practice uh, practice uh, doing it and paying attention to the the uh, the slopes and the perspectives and the lights and the darks I find that when um, you're on holiday or something and you're uh, and you sit and do a sketch for 15 minutes half an hour of a certain area that you're visiting you come away with so much more than if you had just taken a photograph. Of course, there is so much to be gained from photographs, uh, uh, keeping a memory that you had of a certain place, and maybe you don't have time to spend a lot of time just sitting and observing, but when you do, um, I find it really relaxes um, your trip. And for, for me, holidays, vacations, they're all about relaxing and enjoying the the moment, getting away from the uh, hubbub and the stress of daily life sometimes that you go through. We're retired now, uh, but I still feel the need to uh, go on a on a trip and uh, enjoy different scenery, different uh, meet different people. But if you're still working, getting away on vacation is, is, uh, it's all about, uh, rest and relaxation. For some people, anyway. So as I said, um, most of the time I will be drawing directly, uh, with a pen. But sometimes there is a, there's a need, um, to draw a, an underdrawing first with a pencil and erase the uh, the lines after you've done the pen work. It all depends on my mood and the way things are going that day. But the main thing is to have fun and to be flexible. If one kind of drawing isn't working on a certain day, then you can try another. And if it's not, nothing's working, just sit and relax and listen to this 
the sounds around you and perhaps come back another day for a drawing or if the mood takes you when you get back to your your home or whatever you can use a picture that you've taken and do a drawing then either way you've got good good memories to capture on on film and on uh, paper forever I did change the direction of the little road coming down from the from the church. I thought it would give a more um, um, more direct access for the viewer to the the church area, leading his his or her eye up into the main the main subject. I did make a little bit of an error there. If ever anybody's noticed, uh, when I moved the fence in the drawing, it came out it came out kind of straight, but I still made the shadow curved, which of course it wouldn't be if you the, if the uh, if the fence is straight. But that's okay. Just goes to show I'm only human and do make mistakes. But I think I think in this case you can kind of overlook that, and the drawing still kind of works. That's another thing about drawing and uh, relaxing. There's always something to learn from it. Take the time. And don't stress too much about making everything perfect. One thing from uh, by you by using photographs taken by somebody else that's already gone to the trouble of uh, choosing the center of interest and composing the picture. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can change it a little bit, but most of the heavy work is already done for you. Makes it a little bit more relaxing. So, if you'd like to uh, watch the rest of the video without my chatter, I'll uh, put some music on, and you can sit back and relax and watch the drawing process. And uh, I'll speak to you later.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that drawing. I certainly did. It was very relaxing for me, and I took my time and just focused on the, uh, the shadows and building up the different layers of darkness. And of course, when you build up the layers of darkness, the lightness creates itself. This is this drawing, uh, the uh, perspective was very important. So just you need to pay attention to the the way the the lines of the roofs are going and the walls, and kind of uh, once you once you uh, concentrate on that, it all comes together in the end. Well, as I said before, um, if you enjoy this, consider subscribing. And I've got a few other videos uh, on the channel already and I hope you enjoy those. There's quite a variety of uh, subjects and drawings and I really appreciate any uh, comments because even though I, I do see the, the number of the views, if I hear from actual people it, it kind of makes it more personal for me and I do know somebody that uh, I feel that I know the people that are writing from all around the world, which is kind of crazy and kind of amazing. So I really appreciate that. Anyway, you all take care and uh, happy drawing, happy sketching, and uh, we'll see you next time.